Dr. King would have said that the greatest impact of the Haiti earthquake and the Katrina hurricane and the South Asian tsunami was not in the devastation caused, but in the desperation revealed. And Dr. King would say that our long-term response to the challenge of Haiti and to all the Haitis in our own country is the real test of this day in his honor. And our long-term response to that desperation is the real challenge ahead for all who believe in the fundamental message of Dr. King, that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. How do we reclaim the profound hospitality enshrined in the icon of our own national history, a statue in the harbor New York which says, give me your poor, your tired, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Equally enshrined in the life of an icon of our national experience, Dr. Martin Luther King, whose dream was that one day this nation would rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all are created equal. My son is 20 years old. I want him to be proud of growing up in Blair County and to realize that he's standing on the shoulders of others, just like me. I'm not the first person to find this, but I've been the most blessed person to have the resources of a university. At this time, I'd like to introduce a wonderful group that's going to do a wonderful presentation on King Street. Yes, and how many seas must know lived out Dr. King's legacy just this past semester. Those are Mount Aloysius students who worked on 322 community service projects with 195 different community partners just in the fall semester. Because of you, Dr. King's words don't just live on today in this commemoration ceremony once every year. They live on every day every time one of you works at the local food bank or helps out at a homeless shelter or prepares another person's tax form or tutors someone else's son or daughter so thank you all for living out dr king's legacy so well and so often and we're grateful that you're here with us today as we celebrate that legacy once more <laughs> 